Hi, I'm scientist Grant Hank, and welcome to another edition of the Science of Philadelphia, where each week we take you on a science journey. And this week is no different. We're going to do a pressure packed experiment here that it is one of literally my favorite experiments. I love this experiment, and, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Today, we're going to deal with the, the power of air pressure, and, and, and I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Now, I've got to look at these state standards, too, because this program is standard driven. We follow the state standards. So let's look at which ones we're covering for this particular week. All right. So our state standards for this week are going to be 3.1.7B, which uh, is called Unifying Themes, 3.2.7A, Inquiry and Design, 3.4.7B and C. Uh, that's going to be deal with that, the, the physical science and chemistry and physics, which we're going to cover uh, physical science part of it and some little bit of chemistry too and physics in this particular lab here. So now let's think here again. We live at the bottom of an ocean of air. Now, Grant, hey, what, what do you mean, man? I'm used to swimming in the ocean. I have no, that's liquid. But now you're talking about a gas. That's right. We live at the bottom of an ocean of air. And the interesting thing about this thing is that we don't feel it because the pressure is balanced. But when there is a difference in pressure, and that's what we're going to do in this, this particular experiment, when there's a difference in pressure, I want you to remember that. Differences in pressure cause movement. Remember that. That's going to be the key to this whole experiment. Now, there's some vocabulary that I want to introduce to you. You should know it by now, but I'm going to reintroduce it to solidify it in your mind so that you understand what we're trying to get across. Let's look at our first word, which is uh, atmospheric pressure. Now, let's define that. And let's look at it from these terms. Uh, that is the pressure exerted by the weight of air in the atmosphere. We're going to just take this, and you know, it's my, my cap here is a, it's a control top. And I figure if I put 75 mLs in here, you know, that, that should do it. That should, that should get us going. And, and what we're going to do here is uh, just transfer it right into this can right here. All right, so we've got 75 mLs of distilled water in here. Now, we're ready. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is carefully. Now, when I turn this valve, I'm going to uh, release the gas, and then I'm going to use my sparker to ignite it. So I'm going to ignite my, my, my sparker first. That way I know I got a flame working. Now here we go. All right, so let's just turn it on. There she goes. All right, now I'm going to control the flame a little bit. I'm going to turn it. You can, you can, you can adjust the flame uh, with this nozzle here. Now I'm going to sit it up under here and I want you guys to watch it. Now when you start to see steam come out of this can, when you see the steam come out, you let me know. All right, so now that I have this going, got a nice amount coming out pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this, and I'm going to put the top on this can. So it's going to be a simultaneous thing. You watch it. Here it goes. Ready? All right, I'm going to shut this off. Now I'm going to put the top on this can, and I want you to watch this. I screwed it on nice and tight. Now we're going to listen to it with our special microphone. Now this is the talking can, and this can has words to say, and it is talking. Now, we want to observe this and really see the power of air pressure. <coughs> because remember, we live in the bottom of an ocean of air, and we don't know, we don't feel it until it becomes unequal. And what we created here was an unequal situation. And now we're going to watch it and we're going to listen and see if uh, this air pressure is, has an effect on this can. All right. So if we notice as the can begins to cool and we get this condensation that we talked about, remember we, just, we, we described what condensation was and defined it. 
Now let's watch the canons. I notice here uh, we're getting some indentation here, and we're really uh, as the can begins to cool more and more. Now remember, this is a, a metal can. And this can is very hard to bend. Now, if I look here, on the back side of the can, there's a crease in the can right here. And also on this side of the can, you will see, I'm going to turn it around for you. Now, you see it as it cools. Now, look at this part here. See, this, is a power, this air pressure is very powerful. And this can has really uh, uh, been been affected by that. Now let's see if we if we create. Well, here it is. Look, we see it now. We can see a, a true crease in the can. And again, as the can cools, uh, we get this condensation. And this thing, we really can see the power. And I love it because it it takes. It takes a period of time. It doesn't do it right away. So you can actually see the power of air pressure and how <clears throat> that air pressure is no joke. So now, just look at the can. Look at how it's being creased. Look at that. Now, I'm not touching it. The can is doing its own thing, uh, and it's being affected by the air pressure. Now, this is interesting because this leads to a uh, very interesting dialogue, and I'm going to let it sit for a little while longer, and I want you to just observe it slowly. Now, you see it uh, slowly, and again, the, the temperature uh, is beginning to uh, cool, and we see here that this can is, is really collapsed uh, upon itself. Uh, now, this is interesting because this leads to some interesting dialogue, and in, 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 in what happened here, what is air pressure? And, and how does this air pressure affect us like it's affecting this can? All right, now, let's begin to talk about this dialogue. Let's start analyzing these results, and let's see what's happening here. Let's get into a little dialogue. Now, to crush this can, number one, there's some things I've got to know. To do this takes tremendous pressure, all right? So in order to get this can to to collapse on itself, I have to do something. I have to create something. I have to create a difference in pressure. All right, now remember I told you earlier, differences in pressure cause movement. 